All right, guys, what's up? So, the question is, what have I got going on today? Well, I'm working on my NCT miles, so I'm back up in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. I'm gonna make an overnight trip out of Pictured Rocks. So it'll be uh, 42 miles. I'm gonna split that up between today and tomorrow. I have a permit for Coves, which is 21 miles away. And then tomorrow, from Coves, I will hike all the way back to uh, Munising Falls where I've got my truck parked. Temperatures are gonna be mid 60s today, uh, mid 50s overnight, so it should be a pretty comfortable hike as well as overnight. Tomorrow is gonna be similar temperature, mid 60s. Last I looked, we're looking at rain, possibly early tomorrow morning. So there's a good chance I'm gonna be getting up to rain and have to pack up with everything wet. We'll see what happens. Before I lose my uh, my phone service, I'll check one last time, one last time on the, uh, the weather report. And when I first got here, it was misting. So everything is wet, so I'm getting the car wash effect. Everything from the knees down is soaking wet right now. But once I get out of this uh, taller grass, I should dry out pretty quickly. So I don't know from the rain, it's weighing all these leaves down or what, but it just seems way overgrown this year. Five and a half miles in. Uh, you can definitely tell we're getting close to the lake shore because it dropped several degrees. And if you look in the background there, you can see the uh, the mist. It's real foggy in here right now. It's pretty cool. slide was a bust it's all fogged in you just saw that last overlook there everything's just all fogged so pretty sure this whole section is not gonna have any good views for us definitely impressed brand new bridge this was not here last year the one last year was uh, actually we can probably see it right here back with left of the one from last year I'll throw a picture in here real quick it was pretty it was pretty twisted and pretty ratty looking that is really nice they've been doing a good job keeping up on getting a lot of these boardwalks and bridges replaced There we go, first view of the lake. We've actually, uh, fog's rolled away. Now we've got a cool view.
I'm about 12 and a half miles in. I just stopped for a quick lunch. I'm coming up to uh, <clears throat> the campground here. There's water, so I'm going to top off my water. That should get me pretty much where I need to be until I get to camp, and then I'll have to get some more water for dinner. And this road is a swamp. another one of those uh, new boardwalks. Um, last year when I came through here they actually had the lumber sitting right off to the side of the trail and they were getting ready to build it. tucked back in the woods we're finally back out along the shore here should be in the home stretch here I got approximately two miles I'm estimating right to my camp and first things first get the tent set up secondly it's dinner time all right I just got down to uh, Beaver Creek you can see it right here next to me I'm gonna stop here real quick and grab some water and I should have about one more mile to go camp all set up so I'm gonna go down to the lake get some water and if it's feasible I'm gonna put my feet in the water for a little bit and uh, let them soak kind of ice them if you will just gotta find how to get down there Finished the day with 22.8 miles, so I'm pretty happy about that. So I'm gonna sit here, hope for the sunset. It's a little overcast, so I, but I hope it comes through. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the morning. I'd rather not pack up in the rain. All right, I'm on the trail. It's a little bit after six. You can see behind me, it's fairly clear. There's a little bit of clouds up above, but they're moving that way. And from what I could see over there, it looks mostly clear. So I think there's a good chance I'm gonna beat the rain. Um, we'll find out soon enough if I'm right or wrong. But uh, the lake is nice and calm today compared to yesterday.
first time I came here, I had my photo taken right here. So there, I just recreated it. Chapel Rock right behind me. This thing never ceases to amaze me every time I come here and see it. Give you guys another view of Chapel Rock from here. I didn't realize it before I had water on the lens. I hope it didn't show up. Beach. This is definitely a hot spot in the summertime. A lot of people come here. This place will be just packed. There's a trail back that way near Chapel Rock. That'll bring you in a lot of people hike in on that just to come to the beach. Look at this amazing view. And you think we started way down there, like this whole way. Let me zoom in. I don't know if you can see it from here, but right about there is Spray Falls. I got uh, about four miles to go to Miner's Castle. Uh, Miner's Beach will be just before that, but otherwise it's pretty much gonna be just this woods walk for the rest of the way. Uh, my pace is definitely slower today than yesterday. Pretty sure I got uh, plantar fasciitis in my right foot. My right heel's been really bothering me today, so it's definitely slowing me down, but take some ibuprofen and push on through. I'm not gonna go over there. I was gonna stop for lunch. I got seven more miles. Might as well just keep going. I got a snack in my bag that'll get me through. All right. So I got about 
just over 17 on the day. Had a couple two minute breaks here. I just uh, ran across a couple people, talked to them for a few minutes. That uh, my right foot's not bothering me anymore. I feel blisters starting on my left. At least two toes, I think. But I kind of got my second wind. I believe I got about four more to go. So I'm on my last uh, probably two minutes here before I get back to the truck. I'll put my mileage on screen, what guy attracted me at. It seems like it might be a little bit off from the map, but I'll put it up there, we'll do a comparison. So overall, not too bad. Uh, you know, I beat my feet up a little bit, but I still enjoyed myself. All right, so I got a, I got a set of fresh clothes in the truck I could put on. I'm gonna grab something to eat, something to eat on the way home. I'm pretty sure the first thing my wife's gonna say to me when I walk in the door is you stink. <laughs> I mean. I most likely do, but she's going to say that to me. So I want to thank you guys for coming along as always. Uh, make sure you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you, and we'll see you guys next time.